Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for November 1st, read by Charlie L. from St. Paul, Minnesota. AA thoughts for the day. Companionship. Letting go of everything at once was both painful and terrifying. I could never have accomplished this alone. It took the help, understanding, and wonderful companionship that was given so freely to me by my ex elky friends. This and the program of recovery embodied in the 12 steps, whole new vistas were opened up for me. New avenues of experience to be explored, and life began to take on color and interest. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 311. Thought to consider. This is a great day to be sober, patient, tolerant, kindly, and loving. Acronyms. Care. Comforting and reassuring each other. Just for today. Accountable. From the Three Legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. By 1940, we had begun to see that the AA book should belong to our society itself. Its share should not be forever scattered among 49 subscribers, Ruth Hawk, Henry, and me, Bill W. If the Foundation could acquire these outstanding shares, the book could be placed in trust for AA as a whole. They could no longer kick about the book's income being used to run the AA office. Trustee A. Leroy Chipman conceived the idea of borrowing enough money from Mr. John D. Jr. Rockefeller, two of his sons, including then-future U.S. Vice President Nelson, and the dinner guest to clear away certain debts and to buy all works publishing shares, except Henry's and mine, from the cash subscribers at par. Every one of the cash subscribers gladly consented to this. They were happy to get out even. Mr. Chipman thereupon raised a total of $8,000 to be repaid to Mr. Rockefeller and the others out of book profits at a later date. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, page 189. Daily Reflections I cannot change the wind. It is easy to let up on the spiritual program of action and rest out our laurels. We are headed for trouble if we do, for alcohol is a subtle foe. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85. My first sponsor told me there were two things to say about prayer and meditation. First, I had to start, and second, I had to continue. When I came to AA, my spiritual life was bankrupt. If I considered God at all, he was to be called upon only when my self-will was incapable of a task or when overwhelming fears had eroded my ego. Today, I am grateful for a new life, one in which my prayers are those of thanksgiving. My prayer time is more for listening than for talking. I know today that if I cannot change the wind, I can adjust my sail. I know the difference between superstition and spirituality. I know there is a graceful way of being right and many ways to be wrong. As Bill sees it, from the taproot, the principle that we shall find no enduring strength until we first admit complete defeat is the main taproot from which our whole society has sprung and flowered. Every newcomer is told, and soon realizes for himself, that his humble admission of powerlessness over alcohol is his first step toward liberation from its paralyzing grip. So it is that we first see humility as a necessity. But this is the barest beginning, to get completely away from our aversion to the idea of being humble, to gain a vision of humility as the avenue to true freedom of the human spirit, to be willing to work for humility as something to be desired for itself takes most of us a long, long time, a whole lifetime geared 
to self-centeredness cannot be set in reverse all at once. 12 and 12, page 21 to 22, and page 72 to 73. Big book quote. If, when you honestly want to, you find you cannot quit entirely, or if when drinking, you have little control over the amount you take, you are probably alcoholic. If that be the case, you may be suffering from an illness which only a spiritual experience will conquer. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, We Agnostics, page 44. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. I have hope. That magic thing that I had lost or misplaced. The future looks dark no more. I do not even look at it, except when necessary to make plans. I try to let future take care of itself. The future will be made up of today's and today's, stretching out as short as now and as long as eternity. Hope is justified by many right nows, by the rightness of the present. Nothing can happen to me that God does not will for me. I can hope for the best, as long as I have what I have, and it is good. Have I hope? Meditation for the day. Faith is the messenger that bears your prayers to God. Prayer can be like incense, rising ever higher and higher. The prayer of faith is the prayer of trust that feels the presence of God which it rises to meet. It can be sure of some response from God. We can say a prayer of thanks to God every day for His grace, which has kept us on the right way and allowed us to start living the good life. So we should pray to God with faith and trust and gratitude. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may feel sure of some response to my prayers. I pray that I may be content with whatever form that response takes. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Charlie L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.